For this project, you'll need one SSD hard drive, a SATA to SATA caddy that'll fit inside your laptop to replace the optical drive we're going to remove, uh, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, and maybe a small thin bladed pocket. For this project, I'll be using a HP Pavilion DV6 model 6190US, a crucial real SSD model C300, 128 gigs, and a JECOM caddy uh, that you can probably buy on eBay. Remember to eject your optical drive before you shut down your computer. Step one is to remove the hard drive and the optical drive, which is very easy to do on this particular model of HP. Four screws hold the hard drive in place. One screw holds the optical drive in place. Next step is to remove the four screws that hold the hard drive and the hard drive caddy. Here we see a side-by-side -side of the Hitachi 7200 RPM hard drive that comes with the laptop on the left and the new SSD on the right. Note the Hitachi hard drive is only SATA 2 rated at 3 gigabits and the SATA 3 SSD on the right will be much faster. The next step is to prepare the caddy that will replace the optical drive, attaching any attachment points needed for a particular model of laptop, and to install the old hard drive in the caddy. We want the SSD as the main hard drive. Some laptops will prefer to boot from the normal hard drive position, so it's worth taking the effort to put the SSD in the normal hard drive position and put your original hard drive in the caddy. This particular caddy requires putting screws on the sides of the hard drive and then removing the bottom of the caddy, mounting the hard drive, and then putting the bottom back in place. The hardest part of this whole operation is to remove the plastic form factor off the end of the optical drive and then mount it onto your hard drive caddy. Proceed with caution. The final step for this caddy is a little bracket that goes on the end to keep the hard drive from slipping loose from its SATA connection. Having already put our SSD in the main hard drive slot, we'll now insert the caddy into the optical bay, put it in place, screw it down, and put the panel back on. My compliments to the HP engineers for making this so much easier to do than my previous laptop. My previous laptop, a MacBook Pro non-unibody model, literally took taking out 20 screws to be able to do the same procedure. Reboot the laptop and the laptop will recognize your new hard drive, assuming it's formatted, right away uh, without any changes to the BIOS. If you need to, formatting the hard drive shouldn't be a problem and the operating system should prompt you. The result is a very responsive computer and an increase in your Microsoft performance score from a 5.9 to a 7.0 with your hard drive maxing out at 7.9 on a 7.9 scale.